Hey everybody, I'm back again today with another 90s guitar lesson for you. Um, this is a song that I, I think I played this and I posted it on my social media site uh, a while back, a few years ago. It's always been one of my favorite songs uh, from the 90s. Uh, this is Travis Tritt, I Don't Love You Anymore. Um, so this song's in the key of B, um, and what I'm going to teach you, um, I saw some lessons for the intro lesson and things, but I didn't really see any lessons for the solo, so I'm going to go ahead and teach you that, uh, that cool guitar solo in the middle, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and play it for you, and then we'll slow it down and break it down for you. <laughs> I'm going to slow it down for you. So there it is, slow. Uh, now this was played on the record uh, by Reggie Young. Reggie Young is a, a classic uh, guitar player, one of my favorite studio musicians of all time for sure, and one of the most recorded guitar players of all time also. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my delay off, um, and we'll just go ahead and break it down. Uh, now that last lick, uh, the really cool lick, I'm not 100% sure if that's how Reggie played it. Those are the right notes, uh, but there's different ways and different places on the neck that you can play it. This is just how I'm gonna teach it to you because it's how I learned it. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. So we're gonna start on the first fret on the D string, okay? Um, and we're gonna slide from first all the way to four. Okay, and then once you, go to, once you slide into four, you're gonna play four, so. Okay, then you're gonna slide from four on the G to six on the G. So you get. And then just do a trail off there, just a slide off. Okay, and then we're playing out of this B position. It's kind of the scale we're using here, okay? So once we slide up, we got. Okay, and we go uh, from six on the G where we stopped, and we do a walk up the scale. Just walking up the B scale. So I'm going 6G to 4B to 5B. So then walking it back down. And we land on uh, 4 on G. So we got. And when you come down the scale, when you hit 6 on G, you can do a little bit of a, a vibrato. So. Okay, then we walk down again. Then we slide up from six to eight on the G. Now you can bend that a whole step if you'd like. I've always just slid. So that, that lick right there goes. And you'll notice these notes that I'm holding out, I'm putting a little bit of vibrato. Now you want to be careful not to add too much vibrato. Because uh, if you add too much, it's going to sound like a rock solo. You don't want to do that. So you want to make it real pretty and just add a little bit of vibrato. Okay. Then we come up to another position um, in the B major scale. Actually, once again, we're just playing straight out of the B scale. And we come up here and we go. Now I'm on 12 and 14. So I'm bending up 14 on the B, a whole step. And then I'm catching... Uh, 14 on the E string with my little finger underneath it. So. And while I catch that little E string on the 14th fret, while I've still got uh, the B string bent up a whole step, I release it. So. 
and then come down to 12 on the B string. So. So all I'm doing there is, is going back and forth between 14 and 12 on the B. And then I bend that B a 14th fret up a whole step and, and, and release it while it's in the air. So stop the note while it's bent up the whole step. So you don't want to come back down with that bend. If you do, it'll sound like this. You don't want to do that. You want to go. So I got. Okay. Then I come back down with it. I'll put a pause and I'll break in between it. Okay. Then I do a pull off to 12. And then play 14 again on the B. Then you come to 13 on the G. And you bend that up a whole step. And resolve on the G string uh, on the 11th fret. So that whole phrase. And once again, I do a little vibrato there. Okay, then comes the fun lick. Okay. So this lick is uh, out of E, because we're on the, f uh, on the four in the key of B, so we're out of E. So I'm doing this little E um, triad thing. Okay. Um, so, so we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna bar the 12th fret, bottom two strings, so little E and B, and I'm gonna play the B and then the E. And if you'll notice, I'm palm muting this just a little bit, just so it don't, like that, I want it to be. Okay, so 12 on the B, 12 on the E, and then I come up to 16 on the little E with my pinky. Okay. Then 14 on the on the little E string with my ring finger. Okay. After I play that, I come back and I'm, I'm barring this, uh, this double stop here on the B and the E the whole time. Okay, and after I play the little E 14, I play the B 12, so. Okay. Then I play uh, the, the little E on the 12 as well. And then I slide down to the ninth fret. So. Okay, so. Not bad, sorry. Wrong fret. So instead of hitting the 10, you hit the 11th. So. Okay, let me do that real slow for you once again, so. Okay, once you slide down on the little E from 12 to nine, I come over to the 11th fret, G string, and hit that with my middle finger. Okay, so. Then I, uh, with my ring finger, I come to the B string and I hit the 12th fret and slide down to seven. So. And I do a pull off there. Twice. Okay. okay. I'm doing that pull off on the B from nine to seven. Okay. Then I come to G on the ninth fret. We'll play that. And then come to 11 on the D. And then 9 on the D. Then I start the walk down or the slide down. Um, so I go. And I started on 11 on the D. So I go 11 to 9. 9 to, uh, to 8. Eight to six, six to four, and then resolve on two, which is the four, the E. So, so that that slide down right there is technically in B. Uh, sorry, not in B. It's in the, it's in the five, which is the F sharp. 
And so with the, the, the band and the bass player and, and, and the foundation there is on the F sharp. So we're walking down. And then you resolve on the E. Okay, so once again, that second half, real slow. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Once again, that's the Reggie Young guitar solo on Travis Tritt's uh, I Don't Love You Anymore. Killer song, really, really good lyrics, uh, and a really, really great guitar part, I think. Um, so uh, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. If you have, please hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know if you have any requests, and I'll try to get to them. Thanks for watching.